Are you rolling on this? Good morning, fellas. I don't know if this is a proper way of starting a video out or not, but welcome to 2019 FLW Tour season. That's right, day one of practice of the whole year. All of a sudden, it feels like we never even had a break. All of a sudden, it feels like we had a tournament last month. So guys, we got a lot on the line. We got a lot on the line. We have Tom. We have we have a couple other special guests. Chef. No oh, man. Who's this guy? It's Matt Airy, fellas. Matt. Matt, what happened to you? <laughs> it's not Matt. It is B Lat. Good morning, B Lat. Tell them, tell them who else we have in the house upstairs. Exactly. Exactly. Wait. It's like a reveal party. I kind of like this spiral, the way it's spiraling right through, towards the wall. <laughs> Nobody knows who it is. So who is it? Bam! It's Andrew Upshaw. Where's Matt? Matt took off. We on kicked his him off, off. Matt the, uh, blazed on Off us. the boat. Matt said, we're not, we're not cool enough anymore. Everyone, Andrew Upshaw, Tom Reddington, be lat for this tournament. He's not going to be with us every time, but, but he's cool. We, we might try to work something out. And then we have Billy. Yes, it's nice. I like that. Can you do it again? I'll slow motion that. We got to go, man. Come on. I don't know what are y'all doing, man. Wait for you. Brandon is outside. I don't even know. We got to go. It's weird, you know, this is a weird start to the day because I can't see more than 100 feet. I have my maps, which is good, but it's just, you don't have a perspective of what's going on right now. You know, it's a lot of this fishing is gonna be offshore. There's gonna be some stuff up on the bank, obviously, but it's so flooded up there that I think these points and these drains coming out of these backwaters where this hydrilla, there's a lot of hydro on this lake. You gotta find the right little edge, right little turn, lipless crankbaits, chatterbait, you know, things like that out here, even a crankbait. One. First fish of 2019 tour season, baby. <laughs> that right there gives me some encouragement. Fellas, you drive a thousand miles, you go to a lake you haven't been to but like once in your life, extremely high water, you don't even know where you are, I can't see anything. And I just pray that you can just catch a fish and get going. It's that momentum. It's that, it's that, yes, and that's it right there. It's not a big one, but it's a keeper, and it's the yes moment. Oh, 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 oh watch this. Watch this. I'm going to get bit. Look at them. They're right there on it. There's a fish on it right now. There he is. Got him. Got him. Dude, it's a good one, too. Oh, that was awesome, dude. That was, that was cool. That was so cool. Literally watched them shoot right up out of the grass. Come up on the jerkbait. Another keeper. Wow. It's the start of the season. There's a lot of news. New year. New lakes. New anglers. You know, the whole shakeup last year with Major League Fishing and Guys leaving the Bassmaster Elite to go there. Guys leaving the FLW Tour to go there. Everybody kind of shuffling around. You know, we've still got a, a really good group of, of hardcore anglers that have been with FLW for a long time, but we also have a lot of new blood. And anytime you get a lot of new blood, you're talking about new talent. You're talking about guys that are hungry for it. Uh, it, it it's it's going to take, to have a good season this year, it's going to take every bit of energy. A lot of people would think, you know, initially, like, oh, a lot of the hammers left, you know, no. A lot of the hammers are still here, and there's a lot of new hammers that you haven't ever heard of yet. That's that's the thing. There's hammers that you don't know about. The fog's starting to lift, and 
it's important for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's important because I can see now. And just being able to see the contours and the shoreline and seeing where things go in and out and bushes and you can kind of in your mind even though you're looking at your map you can see where the drain would be you know what I mean you could just kind of it, you, you can map it out with your eyes when it was foggy like that I, I, I couldn't tell anything so now I'm starting to see you can look out off that way a little drain that goes back into that little woods right there that I know that somewhere right in that little zone should be another school of fish right, right through there got one I saw three or four on the graph I don't know how big he is I don't think he's big decent one though Four or five of them down there. Little wads of them. Another keeper. There's a bunch of them right here. And they were right where that grass drops. They were right in there. Alright guys, midday update. I don't know. I've got three fish. Talk to Andrew. He's only got a couple. It's tough. I hadn't quite got it figured out yet at all. I'm just, I'm really kind of feeling lost i haven't found the right type of grass but we're sticking with it i'm not sure what billy and them are doing back at the house but they're he wanted a fishing rod so you never know with him what are you doing billy they you said you were fishing <laughs> didn't you just buy that cheddar bait like 15 minutes ago <laughs> 20 dollars man there's 20 dollars hanging from that tree right there I gotta go get it. Why don't you take the paddle board? I mean, why don't you take that board? For sure take the board. So at least you go lean on it. Or, no, you, it's a knee board. Just put your knees on it and use your hands. <laughs> no, you gotta, oh my gosh, that's so cold. <laughs> you gotta go out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so, oh, oh. $20 chatterbait, $20 oh, chatterbait. You might as well just jump all the way in first. Oh man, it's gonna get too deep. It's gonna get, it's gonna get my jewels. <laughs> I'm peeing. After this, you should do a can <laughs> you should do a cannonball in. Oh, you just threw it in another snag. Huh? <laughs> Scream and just jump in. Do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cold. Are my teeth chattering. I think they are. Well, Billy. All that for let let me see it. All that. That chatted it. Was it worth it? Oh my gosh. I can't even feel my hands. Tom, how many fish did you catch today? One more than you. You caught one? I did. Andrew? One. Twelve. Andrew? <laughs> yeah, I caught two. Two? <laughs> Scott. Scott, three. Scott wins with three. Three. I won the. I won the. I won the house challenge today. Get Man. nothing for it, other than maybe dinner. First loser. Wow. Yeah. Hey, at least I didn't get last. That's right. Wow. We, we, we could call it. Our house is full of studs, huh, Brandon? <laughs> Called one fish. Bunch of huh? freaking studs. We could call one fish between the three of us. Yeah. One. Brandon. Brandon. Oh. We gotta get up. Oh, I don't. I mean, you always want to sleep till like the last second. No, I don't. We gotta go, man. We always gotta go. I know. Hi, Robert. Good morning. Is it? Good morning. Is it time to go? Look at you. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Been up, I haven't slept. Really? No, I'm kidding. I didn't get up, I had some <laughs> work to do. Okay. I'm about to start working on the maps a little bit more. Nice. I just peeked over there, it was all dark. So Brandon and them still sleeping? Yeah, they're sleeping. Why? Well, Brandon said he needs all the rest he can get. Why? Because we have an excellent adventure today. He might need some extra extra uh, energy for that because yeah. I think Billy, Billy's gonna do a whooping. 
Put a excellent wax in adventure. on that behind. Do I have an excellent adventure today? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We're going to Kerr Lake. Yeah, Kerth. 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 Yes. Kerth. I think Andrew and them were sleeping. Really? Be light. Really? Oh, this is a great opportunity. Hi, guys. You can't do that. I didn't know I could do that. You can't do that. He <laughs> Tell me I could do oh, that. Gosh, I got attacked. <laughs> Holy smokes, a bunch of freaking ninjas ready, jumped dude. me. Just for that, you get the light. Oh, you get the light, boys. You ready, man? You ready? You guys ready? Everybody ready? Brandon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we heard a noise from Brandon this morning. So, guys, here's the plan. Well, I am going uh, out today by myself. Billy the intern, cowboy. Rob and Brandon are going to go do a, another episode of Billy and Brandon's Excellent Adventure. I have no idea what they're going to do, but it's going to be good, I'm sure. So, that video, which they're going to film today, will air shortly after all of these tournament videos so be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh you'll get to see it all right guys day two of practice officially is starting right now and uh what do i know i know nothing at this point i really don't but i'm gonna stay versatile i'm gonna mix it up between shallow and deep see if we can't put it together it only takes a few minutes to find the winning stuff and i got a lot of those today i got a lot of few minutes go nice fish right there Let him go. so guys that's a little pattern here drains there's a little wad of them in here nice little wad of them in here pretty sweet deal they're not big yet but we'll keep milling around hopefully we'll get some big ones Awesome. That is awesome. Right, let me show you what I'm fishing with. This rod right here. So on my Akumas, I've designed a 7-Eleven for swim bait and crank baiting. Rob designed Lunkers TV right here, Lunkers TV. Rob designed this rod, probably a little bit like mine. It feels just like the one I've designed. Let me just get right to the point, guys. This rod right here, the Defender, sweet looking rod by the way, by Lunkers. Did a good job with it. 7-Eleven, awesome swim bait rod, awesome crankbait rod. It's the perfect action for like throwing swim baits, small swim baits, like this, Kitex, deep diving crankbaits. This rod right here is awesome. And uh, so I just want to tell you that because Favorite has a whole bunch of rods. I'm using a lot of different ones, as you can see, lots of different ones. And I'm going to tell you throughout the whole year what I like certain rods for. So this one right here, game on, crank baiting. Check it out, favorite rods. Rob, you did good, man. You did good. Right there. So I'm on the graph. Come on, quit, dude. Little, 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 but a keeper, I think. What is it? Is it a bass? Oh yeah, it's a bass. Good one too. Right here in this little ditch. Nice. So guys, we finally found, finally, I think a big school fish. They're sitting right where they're supposed to be sitting. It's ridiculous, I've caught two. But I want to show you the graph. I want to show you the graph right here. Look at these fish. Look at them all right there. Look at them all. That's a lot of fish. I'm just gonna say, throw that out there. So far, that's the biggest school that I've found thus far. You know how many minutes it took me to find that? Just a couple. 
mark it down waypoint bam like that that's good Mother Joker. <laughs> Scott just scared the dog pee out of me with a camera in my face. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, tough day again. We got one more day to figure it out. But we found more. Yeah, there's definitely more out there yeah. today. Yeah. So dude, there's fish in those trees. I troll them under up there. And I'm like, Pan up is they're freaking going everywhere and they're bass because they're chasing my lure. No way. Yeah, there's like five or six of them right there. I never got any of them to bite, but I was like on top of them. Hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. You would think they'd pull up in there eventually. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? No way. No way he's up this early. I literally just turned my phone on and come over there and get all over you. <laughs> Good morning. No way you're up this early. Yeah. Look at you. Coffee. Check out these guys real quick. AFCO just sent me a whole bunch of stuff, uh, new things. Fishing gloves, which I need to wear these today. To catch a big fish and you clap. If they had, if it was covered, it wouldn't even, it would just sound like this, look. All right, so the second pair of gloves they have, which I haven't worn yet because it's not cold, luckily, are these giant Hydronaut gloves. And they are sweet looking. They're, I think they have, gort. I don't know what they are, but they're waterproof. They're they're just nice. They're just nice. I'm just telling you, they're nice. Okay, I know you can't try them on watching the video. And then there's another pair of these like real thin ones, which are sweet. We'll drop links down below. Brandon, drop a link, please. These are the some other ones. Thermoflex. These are like real thin, but not other. Oh, actually, these are really good. They're not super, super thin. There's another pair that I have in the boat that are real thin. Anyways, enough time on that. AFCO's got some cool stuff, and they have the nice sun gloves with clapping holes in them. So, it's good stuff. To be a successful tournament angler, people ask me all the time, I think it's got to be a balance of heart, determination, hunger, and a little good time. Day three, guys, of practice. This is it, right now. Gotta figure it out. Gotta get it done. Started figuring out a few things yesterday. Haven't found out a way to catch big fish yet, though. But, uh, that's, what, that's our goal today. Hey, I fish FLW. Woo! <laughs> you see? It was like... <laughs> I want to do one. I want to do one. I want to do one with braid where I blow it up. I think it'd be funny, dude. Oh, and I'll go, ah, man, I fish him. I know you. Ooh. <laughs> okay, ready? Hey, I fish FLW. Oh, dang. <laughs> I might have stopped it a little too fast. Hey, I fish FLW. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's funny, dude. There he is. Just a little one, but he's a keeper. Yeah, he might not be a keeper. 14 inches, I think, is the, the limit here. Little Guggen finesse worm. Saw the fish, they're just kind of sitting right here. They're on this little patch of grass. There's like four or five of them down there, but they're probably all little. Got him. What is it? That was cool. Caught up on a spy bait, untraditional way, letting it fall and lifting it up. You know, you wonder what this, I was kept wondering what those fish were. And they're bass, a lot of them. Keeper. fish it's just a different approach these fish are a little inactive because of the water temperature and 
water coming up and everything. They're just weird. It's not a big one, but it's a, it's a, you know, it's a two and a quarter, two and a half pounder. Got him. Dude, this is a deal. This is a deal. Like I'm throwing a drop shot down there, dude. They're not even thinking about it. They don't even like look at it. I throw this down there. It's game over. I watched him swim over and get it. Did you see that? Yeah, I let it fall. They like it falling. Look at that one, dude. We got a mega load. What you got, Scotty? Well, little, little wad. There's a lot of them in here. There's a lot of fish in there. Nice fish right there. Cool. Dude. Another good one. Yeah. Say it ain't so, Scotty. You got another one? What are you doing? Bam. Well, guys, three days of practice is officially in the books. I've got to head back to the ramp. What, you know, I've got to evaluate what I have. Not a great practice. This was more like a step back and punt type tournament for me. I just really had a hard time figuring anything out for big fish. So I just stuck with the plan of trying to find as many places as I could to catch a limit. I think there's some better fish mixed in there, but it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of luck to really jack up a big bag. Can I get out of here with a check? I hope so. You know, you, when this tournament unfolds, you're gonna see guys that have caught them lots of different ways, from flipping to out feet to you know, it's gonna be interesting to see. I kind of was one-dimensional the last couple days because I really needed to find as many places as I could that had keeper fish on them. And at the end of the day, if I can get lucky and catch a couple nice fish in there, then I can get a good check and good points. Do I feel like I can win this tournament? It's gonna take a little bit of luck. But I'm gonna fish hard, I'm gonna fish to win. I just, I don't know if I have enough ammunition, you know what I mean? Like I, don't, I didn't find a couple ways to catch a big fish. Well guys, first uh, meeting of the year is in the books. We just uh, got through finishing up uh, our meeting. Cool thing is, I get to fish tomorrow without a co-angler. Even though I love co-anglers, I was a co-angler. But I get to fish all day tomorrow not having to worry about a co-angler. Uh, so boat position, I can just do what I need to. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be awesome. And I'm excited about showing you guys the tournament footage. So it is time to head back to the house right now. Do a little, um, do a little rigging. Get ready for day one of the tournament. Hey, what are y'all doing? There's no more uh, raffle. There's no more raffle. Really, it's getting a rap boat. What do you mean? First mock. I like it, dude. Do you? Yeah. What's the first thing you see, though? My stuff. I know. I like it. <laughs> that might like be a problem. It. You. I like yeah. it. That's some C. The fish. I, like it. I misspelled a word again. My wife just informed me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Babe. That's a good meeting, man. The only bad thing about the meeting, Billy. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't want a cooler this time. Yeah. No more raffles. Let's see who's over here. Oh my gosh, this is blown out. So is everybody good? Everybody good? Everybody good? I got an important question for you. Yes. You know what a lipless crankbait looks like? What in the world happens when they get like that? What is oh, that? That's what happens, dude, when you leave them in your box. I put all my lures in my tackle box. That's when you live in your boat. That's a hunchback of Notre Dame. That actually might catch them, dude. I don't know if it runs straight. That, might, that was like a, I don't know, seven, eight year old lure. Yeah, they swell up. I'm having my jerk bits do that a lot, dude. There are only a few, not all of them. Do they get moisture in there or what? I don't know what it is, but that that's is... awesome. Don't get rid of that. Don't throw that away. I want that. I want it. We should do a challenge. This is a collector one now. No, no, the no, no, hunchback no. of Notre Dame. This is high dollar. This is the winning right? bait right here. Right? Billy, you rigged up? See, the booth looked good, man. I mean, the little backdrop for a podcast. The booth's going to look good tomorrow. It did. I'm excited I, I about it. I think so. Yeah. So, guys, we did a uh, we did a podcast at the FLW tournament. And, and I think we're going to do a podcast like once every two weeks, no matter where we are. So, it was good. It was good. Hopefully, you guys liked it. If not, just let me know. We won't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> right? We're, we're just trying, man. We're just trying. All right, guys. So, uh, it's time to rig up some tackle right now. I've got most of it rigged up. I've got uh, 
swim bait rigged up. I haven't caught anything on that yet. Got a couple crankbaits rigged up, medium depth, deep diver. Got another underspin rigged up. Caught a few fish on that this week. Chatterbait. I've got the chatterbait rigged up, but I, I don't know. I've only caught one fish on the chatterbait. I really think, here's what I think. I think those fish don't want a lot of noise. I think they want things that are quiet. I think drop shot's gonna be a big, big player this week and a Carolina rig. Even though I haven't caught anything on a Carolina rig, I think the Carolina rig's gonna be good. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. B-Lat's editing a video. Brandon's editing a video. Rob's editing a video. And they're watching South Park. Yeah, it's <laughs> Cartman. How's Cartman? What's do an impersonation of Cartman? Come on, you can do it. Yeah, Didn't he puke a lot? <laughs> Cartman puke. <laughs> All right, I just totally lost my train of thought. But guys, getting back to being serious. Yeah, not South Park. Being serious. Tournament starts in the morning. We're done. Let's go tell. Let's go tell uh, them good night. Good night, guys. We'll good night. see. We'll see y'all. See y'all in the morning. Bye bye. Billy, it's time to leave. It's time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. I heard you got bit by another spider. Yeah, I did. You did? Is it bad? Yeah, dude. I that. Dude, that's nasty. I know. I haven't, I haven't popped it. I'm trying. It hurts. Ooh, we can do a whole other video on that. But there's a lot of people making big money on those popping pimple things. Uh, Pop, the pimple videos? Pimple videos are big, dude. Yeah, I mean, we have to diversify. I mean, we love fishing, and I love fishing. We're going to keep doing fishing videos, but we got to branch out a little bit. I mean, D Almighty, he does diving for treasure. You want to pop it? Eh. <laughs> Ow. Oh, <laughs> oh, I just got puked. Did it come out? Yeah, dude. Isn't it on the knife? <laughs> dude, that's disgusting, dude. I can hop on it. <laughs> it don't even hurt. It don't hurt. You we just made me. everybody unsubscribe to our channel, dude. <laughs> Everybody said we're out. It's over. Look, stand on one foot. Don't even hurt. That's, that's not how you close Scott. out a video. That's how you just quit. Hey.